What up, guys? Jason Guyman here with King of Pressure Wash. And today, I want to hit on some topics of how to charge in 2023 what are what are what's the ways that we can charge so that we can be profitable and we can stay in business and we actually want to run a business and not a job how many people want a job versus how many people want a business and so the goal is is to figure out how we start working on our business and not in our business right because when we work in our business Man, that is just no fun at all, right? That is no fun at all. And so this is why we want to work on our business and not in our business. And so with that, um, I want to hit on some things here. Like I say, I'm changing it up a little bit. So it might be, I might be a little rough today, but we'll make it through. Um, so the first thing is, is the tool of the week. And since we're talking about bidding, we are going to talk about a tool that works really well for bidding projects. And so when we bid projects, this is a way that this will help us. And responsive bid is a way that we can get our average tickets up and who wants higher tickets and help us sell more and sell when we are sleeping. Um, here is a little bit of what you can do with responsive bid. This is the new bundle packages. And so, you know, when Miss Jones calls for the house wash, instead of just charging $300, now we're able to charge, you know, $665 for house wash gutter cleaning, or we can charge 800, or we can give them a $1,600 offer, right? Because we all know that if we don't offer a $1,600, ticket, there is no way we are going to get our average ticket up. So this is why it is important that we make sure that we are um, using a tool like Responsa Bid or offering packages, right? We have to offer packages, 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 packages. Um, another way you can get to um, there, my resource page, make sure you can go check out the resource page. You can go to kingofpressurewash.com and there's a little box up there that says resources and that will get you to the resource pages. The next thing I wanna hit on before we get started here too is, is the book of the week. You know, I'm big about reading books. I think it's very important for you to read books. Um, and so um, books are something that I highly recommend you to do. Um, it's something that I think that it can help you grow your business and it can help educate you, whether you're struggling in sales or marketing or confidence or anything along those lines. And so this week's book of the week, I've put it as E-Myth. Um, this is a great business to think about, start working on your business and not in your business, right? It talks a lot about being the technician mindset and a lot of us have that technician mindset. And so this book here will help you understand the technician mindset and start moving you out of that technician mindset to a owner mindset, right? We want to look at the picture, look at the long game. A lot of times when we're in technician mode, we see this right here and we're not looking at where other places we may need to see. So this is definitely something that I would highly, highly recommend you to read the E-Myth. And if you've read it once, I would recommend you to read it again. Uh, I know people that have read this book five, 10 times just to get all the, you know, every time they read it, they got another thing. And you say, Jason, I don't read books. Well, there's a thing called audio books. That's how I read books. I, I couldn't read a book if I tried to, um, but I do a lot of audio books and audio books are a great way to start and grow in your business, you know, and, and it, you know, while you're pressure washing, you can put your earbuds in and now you can start learning why you're washing. So this is a great book. I highly recommend it. It's one of my top books for people starting in business or trying to grow in business, right? Who's happy to grow their business this year? Um, before we get started, we got um, 
determined, wow, no way. I may, I finally caught it. Awesome. And so with that too, if you want to know when I go live, you can text, um, sign up for a text and type in King and text it to 859 859- Six nine six one one zero one, and then I I send a text out to let everybody know that I'm going live. So that's how you can know that I'm going live. Um, we got Mr. David in the house, crows in the house, uh, Central Florida evening, gentlemen. Twenty twenty year twenty twenty three, the year of massive growth here in Central Florida. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I believe in a hundred percent. Hey, 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 how's Pink Robin doing um, down in Tampa? Also, we got Tristan. He is in Florida, or uh, Florida, <laughs> the other warm state. He is in Texas, Dallas, Texas. I'm actually going to eat some lunch and dinner with him in a couple days, which that is awesome. When are the work trucks going to come down in price? <laughs> That's a good freaking question. Um, trucks right now are crazy, crazy, crazy high. Um, it's crazy. We got action in the house. Lemonis pressure washing. Zerny, how are you doing? We got Trisha in the house. Hit the like button, you all. Yes, I'd appreciate that for sure. I thank you for saying that. Um, probably never. Um, hi, I had a lady call me today to get her windows clean, quoted 300. And she said the last guy did it for 45. He's probably, and I would have said, why don't you give him a call? Because, oh, that's right. He's out of business. You can't run a business on the $45 um, window plan. Um, this will be my first year operating, going to start out on weekends for now. Awesome. We got one from Michigan, True Serve Company. Hey, Jason, could I make a living in Idaho? basically doing flat work since we don't have much mold in um, around here. Um, you can also do window cleaning in Idaho. Um, I know we got, um, I got a guy up in um, Spokane, Washington, doing window cleaning and concrete and house washing and all of that. And he's doing very well for himself. Equipment is slowly coming in. Yard signs and the mailers and flyers on hand 2023 can't come soon enough for the new year. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Is it better to have an LLC or a sole proprietary? Um, I would go with an LLC. That way it protects your um, it protects your assets. Um, if you have assets and something goes wrong, that's a way to protect it. Good evening, Mr. Columbus Exterior. All right, let's get started on the fun stuff, right? Let's start learning a little bit about what we need to do for 2023 so that we can be successful, right? You know, there's two types of businesses that's going to make it in the pressure washing world. One's going to be a successful business and the other one's going to be a failed business. And I don't want you to be a failed business. I want you to be a successful business. Um, I was talking with Al this week. Um, Al message means every so often. Um, and he's one that, you know, he aggravates crap out of me and I aggravate him back. And so he was saying, man, I did two jobs today. You says you can't do pressure washing in the winter time. And he's right. Right. And he did high ticket, you know, but before he started high price, he was the $99 guy. Um, he had done decks for years and years and years. And he was a full-time school teacher, so he did it all in his off season. And he did decks for like 20 years. And he had me do one of his trailers. And so I built his trailer for him. And he'd come down to <coughs> pick up his trailer. And I'm like, you know, obviously I always talk about business. And so he was talking about business. And so I was like, tell me what your pricing is. Oh, I'm $2 a foot for cleaning and sealing. I'm like, you're way too cheap, dude. You are giving it away. Just give it away. And so he had really not made a whole lot of money. Now he made $80,000 as a PE teacher. So 
you know, it was just a good side business of giving him something to do. And I'm like, do you want to make money or do you want to go work for free? And so he started talking, he started learning the premium pricing model. And when he did, he started, his business is growing and growing. And he did almost, I think, 130 to 150,000 this year. And he had never hit over 100,000 before that. And what what was some reasons why he was able to do over 100,000? Well, I'll tell you, because he learned how to start pricing, right? Pricing is you know, pricing is one of those things that is probably one of the hardest things. And so when people start pressure washing, a lot of times people always want to ask me, Jason, should I just start out cheap so I can do it? And I say no, because doing the pressure washing is the easy part, right? When we're quoting these jobs, that's the hard part. When we're doing the pressure washing, that's an easy job. And I know you might not think it is in the beginning and so you're learning all these new chemicals and you're, you're trying to figure out this chemical and how does this stuff work and, you know, and, and it's hard to do that. And then you, on top of all that, then you get to the point of, oh, no, they told me no. So I must have done something wrong, right? But you know, when we get into this, we learn that our close rate is not very high. You know, I can show you people doing a hundred fifty, um, a hundred to hundred fifty thousand dollars, and their close rate is only thirty two percent, but their average ticket is super high, right? It's eight nine hundred dollars. Well, you don't get an eight nine hundred dollar average ticket by offering a $99 house wash or a $200 house wash, right? Because we it takes a whole lot of 200s to get to $100,000. Um, but if we can get a seven dollars $800 ticket, then it don't take as many, right? It takes, we can do a quarter of the job and make way more money at the end of the day. And so this is why it is important that we understand how pricing is going to our affect our business, you know? And so this is something that I see a lot of people struggle with and it is a struggle. I get it. You know, hearing no, because we don't know how to sell is hard. And some of it is, is when you don't know how to hear no, you just automatically be like, well, I'm too expensive and I must need to lower my prices. And that is not the case. You know, I tell a lot of people a lot of times that you, you know, I can give you all the leads in the world, but if you don't know how to close and you don't know how to handle the customer service side of business, it's going to be a struggle for you. You are going to struggle. You know, you might think that answering this phone is hard, right? But it is hard if you don't know what you're doing. If you take a priority of pressure washing over answering your phone, you are destined to fail. And I hate to say that, but if let me say that again. If you take pr pressure washing and the, the, the operation of pressure washing more important than figuring out how to answer the phone and how to... Um, answer those customers and how to talk on the phone, you will fail, period. There's no other, I mean, that's what happens. You know, and this is the thing, I see somebody on my on one of my comments is like, you know, Jason just wishes the world and people and that's what people, you know what? Here's the deal, guys. This is not an easy business. Like I said, pressure washing, my seven, eight-year-old can pressure wash. My eight-year-old daughter can literally pressure wash a house, soft wash a house with a downstream injector with an eight gallon a minute. But she can't answer the phone and she can't do all of those things. And that is the most important part of this business. And so before we ever start worrying about quoting is how do we answer the phone? What's, the, what's our customer service What's our customer's journey? You know, what are they seeing on our website? So that's going to be the very first thing. What's What are they seeing on our website? Do you have a, maybe something talking about how much pressure washing costs, right? You don't have to go in detail how much you charge, but you could start saying, you could write blogs and talk about, hey, you know, there's different different um, different materials. There's different ways we clean different things. And so that's going to be a factor in what we charge, right? We're also going to let them know that, 
you know, are we talking about a roof clean that's going to be a little bit more dangerous and we got to worry about other things? And yes, we can write blogs on this so that way people educate themselves and then they're going to come to you because you're the expert because your company gave them the information that they're looking for. And so this is why it is so important that we do these things so that way we can help our customers. So next thing is, is when they call, do you answer or does it go to voicemail? Or when they call, do you say, hello, or do you act professional? Hello, this is Jason with Pressure Wash Help. How may I help you today? I can absolutely help you with that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm having that phone call. So as we do this, this is how we're going to be able to get higher pricing when we're charging. So how do we charge for different things? Well, if we're talking residential, then, you know, I want you to be anywhere from for house washing. I like to see you anywhere from 25 cents to 35, 40 cents. I'm not even, I don't even want to give you an app or cap. I know people that are getting 40 cents a square foot for cleaning houses right? And you might say, that's crazy, not in my area. You know, the very first thing you need to do is, is get that out of your mentality. Because if you don't believe you're worth that much, you're right, you're not worth that much. Or if you think you're screwing the customer, you're right, you're going to be out of business, right? I see trailers are for sale like crazy, like brand freaking new trailers that have only been once, used once or twice. And they've paid fifteen, twenty thousand dollars and they're and they're they have a life change, right? That means they sucked at business and they're selling their equipment because they can't get jobs. Why can't they get jobs? Because in my neighborhood, there's all these ninety-nine dollar guys. You know what? They were probably trying to sell at ninety-nine dollar guys, and some people don't want to pay the cheapest person. Some people want to pay the highest price, right? Because you know, when the person's selling a high dollar ticket versus a cheap ticket, here's the thing. What does a cheap ticket have? Yep, we can clean your pressure wash. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pressure wash your house. Or if you have a high dollar ticket, you're going to talk a little bit different, right? We're going to talk about how we will, if you have a problem, we will come back and fix it the same day, right? We'll come back and fix it the same day. You know, have a guarantee, or we will come back and fix your problem, um, you know, and you don't have to worry about everything and you make it easy for that customer. You know how many people I see that make this such a struggle for people? We, I was actually DJ, we were talking about this on the website, right? You know, they want all this information on that website. What do you really need to know on a, on a form? Do you need to know every, you know, where did they, how they find me and all this kind of stuff? If, if and you got to remember, people aren't filling this stuff out on the web on on the computer. They're filling it out on their phone. Have you? And that would be a good thing. Have you went to your website on your phone and filled out the form? How easy is it? Right? It's simple things. You know, only thing I need mandatory is their phone number and email. Other than that, I don't care if you give me your name. I don't care if you give me your address. I don't care if you give me anything. I don't care if you give the services that you want to give me. I need your phone number and email. And guess what? I can bug the living crap out of you at that point. So this is why it is important that we get that information, but we don't ask for too much. We want to make it simple. People are lazy. And the more lazy people are, the easier we got to make it. You know, maybe even having a text button where they can start texting you and and that way you can start that text conversation. That way, when we text them, then then we can, um, you know, we can find out the information and we can go through that way. All right, so house washing, right? How do we quote house washing? Well, you know, like I said, I would really like, I know some people that are in the 20s, but I would like to see you at 25 to 35 to 40 cents a square foot for a house wash. Um, and, and there's two different ways you can measure that, right? You can measure it just, you can get on realtor.com or zillow.com and look at that. And then you can just use the livable square space. Now, the difference between the livable square space 
and the actual square space is going to differ, right? Because the, the actual is going to actually be bigger than the livable square space because you don't have factors of closets, the garage, you know, if it's a two-car garage or a three-car garage. You know, these are things that makes the difference between those two. Um, you know, if you have a two-car garage, well, you might as well figure that's about another six to 700 square feet that you got to clean that you're not getting paid for. But that's why we charge more for that if we're going off. Because, you know, if I got to look up the, the actual, I got to go and find the map and map me all out and do that. Or I can go to Zillow and say, oh, that house is 1,600 square feet. All right, 1,600 square feet times 30 cents. Bam, there we go. Now we're ready to wash a house, right? That's what the difference is. So that's where we are on house washing. On gutter cleaning or on um, on roof cleaning, we're going to be at 40 cents a square foot, um, 40 to 50 cents a square foot. That's where we're going to be at roof cleaning. But Jason, and here's the thing. So I may have or may not, and I've shown some people that are in my mentorship, um, um, the I've been price checking. I've been sending people quotes because I want to see one of two things. I want to see if they return a phone call to me. I want to see if they return an email to me. And yes, I can I can tell you that there's a company that's a big company. And he don't even, I, it's been two days and I've not heard not one thing from that company. Not one thing, right? That's leaving money on the table. That is leaving money on the table. You're in this person talks a lot about customer journey and leaving money on the table. We don't want to leave money on the table. We want to make sure that we are, you know, hounded. Now I did another company and they have called me that. So I did it on December 26th or 27th. It's a big company. It's probably one of the biggest companies around. It's perfect power wash. Everybody hates them. So I'll go ahead and tell them. And they have called me since December 26 over 75 times, 75 times they have called me. They haven't emailed me. They've texted me about four times or there are five times and they have called me 70 over 70 times. Now, do you think they're the biggest company around because they only called one time? Or do you think they're the biggest company around because they have called me 70 times, 70 over 70 sometimes, right? And you might say, well, that's just ridiculous, Jason. But it's not because if it was, they wouldn't, they would stop doing it because they know that it's a game of numbers, right? They know that if they call a customer so many times, they're going to go, they're going to get the sale. They aggravate enough. It's just like Home Advisor. It's just like any of those other ones that call you. There's a reason why they call you so much. Because it, it works. And that's something that you got to think about. Um, that's more of, that's more than Cardone's office does. Yeah, right? But 70 times they have called to do this, right? So how many times have you called your customer? You know, I know a lot of times we email or text, but how many times are you calling? You know, I always call the day, next day. But if, if someone fills out a form, I think you should call them right away and see if we can get talking to them and working on it, right? How can we start that customer journey and make that happen? How can we start building that relationship? How can we do that? So, and you might say, Jason, how does this have anything to do with, with quoting? Because this is how we can quote high pricing, and this is how we can get our close rate. Yeah, our close rate might be, in fact, I can tell you several people that have made anywhere from about 150 to almost 300,000 or more that I can name right off of that all that all are their close rates in the 30 percentile. It's somewhere in that 30 to 40 percent range. Right. And so this is something that how do we get more leads then? Right. If or how do we follow up better or how do we sell better? Um, and so these are things that, you know, there's some people that's just not our customer. Are you marketing in the right places? Are you marketing to a bigger area to try to get the net in, but you're really not marketing in the right areas? And so these are some things that we have to remember so that way we can keep growing our business. And you might say, Jason, you know, you talk a lot about this and that. 
but this is how you have to grow your business. This isn't something of it's going to be easy because it's not. Quoting is probably one of the hard, quoting and answering the phones is probably one of the hardest things to do, but there's things that you can do that will help you. Put a female on the freaking phone. A female will outsell you any day of the week, nine times out of 10, unless you're just a good salesman. But nine times out of a 10, a female don't talk about all the equipment and all the stupid crap that you're going to talk about that has nothing to do with the business. And so this is why it's important that we put a female on there, right? So there, this is what we have to do so we can grow our business. Um, the next thing is, is window cleaning, right? So one thing to get, one thing to help us with quoting, obviously, and I've kind of showed you in there is the packages in the very beginning of this video. You know, packages is what helps grow our business. Packages is one of those things that will either, this is what will set you apart from your competitor, right? Because we already know that psychology tells us that if we give three options, we, we hit a couple things, right? So the very first one is, is, you know, most customers want to have three options. Well, here, we just gave them three options. We gave them three options, and we want to make sure that we're giving these options so that way we're offering a sixteen or a fifteen to a $2,000 package every time. And what does that do, right? $665 sounds like a whole lot of money, but $665 to $1,600 doesn't sound so bad, right? And so this is why we offer packages. Um, because there, if we only gave them one price, that's it. Another thing, if we only gave them a $330 house wash, right? That's what this house wash was. 330 there, $310. That's all, and we only gave them that price. Guess what? That's all the money they can give us. But if we give them a $1,600 package, they can give us $1,600. And we also know that 50% of people we'll pick the middle package, right? So what do we need to do to get that middle package up? What, what do we need to do? So when we're quoting, we need to make sure that we're getting that middle package up too. Um, so that way these sound like a better deal and leave this one here. And so this is another thing that you can do with pricing. If you, want to, if you want to sell more of the middle package, bring this one down to the lower one. If you want to sell more of the middle package, put it more toward the middle, but more toward the higher side. If you want to sell a lot of the middle or make this one sound like a really good one, put it at the closer to there where it's only 100 or $200 off of that high package, right? Because it's like the popcorn. How many people go get the popcorn? And if you get the large popcorn and the large drink, it's not much. It's only a dollar more than if you got the medium. So guess what? People buy more of that because now they've raised their average ticket up. And it only cost them 20 cents to be able to offer you that price, right? So this is why it is important that we offer our packages and we make sure that our packages are um, of different things to do where we can grow our business. Um, I call it one third process knowing I'll close roughly 33% of my estimates. Yeah, I'll scroll back up here and we'll kind of, we'll roll down to some of these, this stuff here. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll bypass all my hoses and reels, blah, 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 blah. Do you know anyone that utilizes salesmen other than just technicians? If so, how would you suggest paying on commission for them? So most people that I know that actually all they do is sales is they pay 10%. They get 10% of whatever they bring in. So what will usually happen is, is you'll give them two or three, you'll give them, you'll give them a guaranteed three or four leads a day, and then they got to go get the rest themselves. Um, and then they'll, they'll be at 10% um, pay is what they'll do. Um, when I sold the business, that's what the, there, we had a off, they had an office in San Diego and they answered all the phones and they gave all the quotes out and they, and they got like 10% of everything that came in. Pricing is king. Jason taught me the art of closing and how to make real profit. 
I just pulled the trigger on 150 yard signs for this year, plus 100 from last year. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Taking action. Um, I'm actually setting up my new reels. How can't I can't wait to get out there and use them? What you should say, Drew, is I can't wait to go get to trying to get that phone to ring. Because if we don't get the phone to ring, it don't matter about what kind of pressure washing we have, right? Um, definitely having massive expansion this year. Awesome. Um, there isn't a easy business. If it involves people, it won't be easy. I agree. And Nathan will be on Sunday night, so make sure you check out, come back on Sunday night. Um, Nathan um, is a young fella, and he's doing well, and it's awesome to watch him grow. I've seen too many, I've seen so many people want to start a pressure washing business and never get going because they don't know how to market and sell themselves. A hundred percent. I won't clean a house for under $450. Don't be a sucky person. I love that. I need to get a shirt made that. Should I get a shirt made that? Would anybody want a shirt like that? Um, if it comes to tell a customer that I'm not the cheapest, but I'm the most expensive, either way, I guarantee you my work. See, I wouldn't tell them that. Um, uh, DJ's dad used to tell them, we're not the cheapest. Well, we don't want to tell them we're not the cheapest. They can go call somebody else and find that out. You know, most people, when they call the other people, they don't answer their phone. So why tell them you're not the cheapest? They don't know that. I've seen so many trucks out there in the last six months, but never see ads. I'm left wondering if they've been there long enough to, yep. Um, I seen a guy today using a drone to clean a hotel roof. He just attached a hose to a large drone. Pretty cool. Yeah, that drone's about 50 grand, 50, $60,000 is what that drone costs. Um, they are cool. I'm not going to lie. They are cool. Um, I'm waiting for $9 cord from Amazon and I can look at gutter jobs with my drone. Yep. People are texting a lot more and often. So do you have that text option on your website, right? That's another thing. Jason, do you help people with Google business profiles? Not as of right now. Um, I do if like what I do right now. So in my marketing Monday and these, this is what I kind of do is, is I do some of that um, and I kind of teach it as I go. And so right now in Monday Night Marketing, we're actually talking about um, Google and, and the, how to get on Google and how to get ranked and all of that awesome stuff. Um, yep, I'm increasing my roof pricing. I'm getting 10 spam calls like a day. That's what sucks. Um, quitting my nine years in water treatment to pressure wash full time. Nice. Um, I bug them until I can clean it by us or someone else. Uh, solve those problems, make it simple. This is the, you know, I see so, and this is something that even when people are calling and talking on the phone, you know, a lot of times we want to get all their information and we want to get all this stuff, but we don't let them talk. Right. And when we don't let them talk, then we don't get what we need to do to sell them. We don't know what their problem is. We think it's a house wash, right? But nine times out of 10, that's not the problem. Their problem is, is if it's the husband, the wife's on him and he wants some boo-boo and he ain't getting no boo-boo until he gets the house done. So he's got to get the house done. So his problem isn't that the house is dirty. His problem is he ain't getting no boo-boo. So this is something, or it might be the problem is, is the HOA sent them a letter, right? That's the problem. We, we got solutions, so that's how we can sell and get that and fix those problems with our solutions. What are some smooth ways to try and add other things to a bid while doing an estimate in person? I don't want to come off aggressive or forceful. If you're doing them in person, you write everything down. You write the price of the roof cleaning. You write the price of the gutter cleaning. You write the price of gutter brightening. You write, write the price of everything. You want to come up. So Chris Johnson, I don't know if he's on here yet. I haven't seen him, but he literally writes everything. And he's at a $1,600 average ticket, but he's offering a $4,000 ticket 
every time. Concrete sealer, gutter guards, he's offering it all. Why, why wouldn't we? If we're going to go in person, why wouldn't we offer it all? You're crazy if you're not. Um, I call the third process knowing I only close roughly 33%. Nothing like a window clean after a house wash. Free money. Do you have ranges for the sizes of house or do you measure out each house and price it accordingly? So I do like doing that. Like if it's up to 2000 square feet, it's, you know, 399. If it's, if it's 2,500, it's, um, 550, right? And then anything between 2000 and 2,500, it's, it goes to the higher price, right? If they're at 2,100 square feet, we're giving them the 2,500 square foot price. If it's at 2,600 feet, we're giving them the 3,000. So then that way, I only got to remember a few numbers, right? And it's just a lot simpler to do it that way. Um, yeah, you can break it down to the each one, but let's keep it simple, right? Um, and people will pay. That's the thing. People will pay. So that's that's a thing that you got to do. Um, Jill's office works. Um, they will answer your phone, and they will use response bid. I think they use House Call Pro. And they'll put all the information in. And if you're using responsive bid, it can actually send a bid, the whole nine yards. 10% of the gross or net, usually gross. How do you feel about online estimates? That's how I got my business to a million dollars. Um, we have a very large service area and there's no way we could run estimates as many. And so here's the thing. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things that you can do it one of two ways, right? Get less estimates and go in person and you hopefully you close more better percentage and you get higher tickets or you get more leads and you get more um, online leads and close 30 to 40% and that's where you're at. And that was my goal, right? Um, how does a bypass unloader valve work? Can I run my machine without spraying water for a long period of time with it? Um, if you got it on it, you can, you really can't run it for about, if you don't have a bypass hose that's going into a tank, you can only run it for about three to five minutes and it's going to overheat that pump and then it's going to burn it up. The phone has been ringing. That's a good sign. Um, hey, good evening with being in business for a while. What's the best way to scale your business when you have a full-time job, but still want to grow your business? Well, charge more right because when we start getting booked out the more we can charge um so charge more and that will help you out because when we charge more then we can put more money in marketing right and so here's the thing about quoting and charging more so here this right here right if you're at 90 if you're at a hundred dollars and you're only charging a hundred dollars for that job you're only going to be able to put 10 percent back into marketing to try to get another job if we're if we're getting our if we're up to five hundred dollars, now we can spend fifty dollars to try to get another job, right? And so this is why we want to try to get our average ticket up as high as we can. If we can get our average ticket up to a thousand dollars, now we can pay a hundred dollars to get that customer, right? We can put a hundred dollars into we can put ten percent into marketing. And so now we can spend a hundred dollars to be able to get that. And so when we get it up higher, the better off we are. What SEO do you recommend around Florida Southwest and what's the range price range? Well, if you want good SEO, you're looking at about a thousand to $2,000 a month. If you want someone that says and feed you a bunch of crap, you're about 200 to $500. Um, the one thing I would say is, is work on your local. Local is where it is. Getting into maps, that's the most important part of this. Um, they ask you answer, great book. 100%. Highly recommend, suggest it to everyone. 100%. 120, I love that book. It's one of my favorite books. And it's not just about um, SEO and stuff like that. Brand new to business. Awesome. Where are you located at? I charge 30 cents this year for a single story and 35 for a two story. This year it's going up five cents. Each with tax estimate included. Taxes are 15%. Oh, ouch. That sounds like California almost. 
So I might get to work at UK Hospital. They said um, can't get lifts in there, so I wonder if I can get a lift in there. Can any even get washing hoses in there? Um, you know, in some of the lifts, you can get those little lifts that will go through a 36-inch door, but they'll go up 90 feet. They're not cheap to rent, but there is places that do rent those ones that you walk behind and they'll literally fit through a 36 inch door. Um, but they'll go up to like 80 or 90 feet. It's pretty crazy. Answer your phone. Your chance of landing a job is so much greater. I lose time answering calls, but it, but it makes up the amount of jobs I get been a game changer for me. <laughs> it's amazing what happens when you answer your phone, isn't it? Uh, Boo-hoo laughing. Graffiti removal prices. So we charged a lot for it because if it's got a big F you or something, they want that off there quickly. So, you know, and that stuff that isn't cheap. The chemicals aren't cheap for it either. Don't you love spending two hours to clean windows only to have the customer come out and ask about a house for a house wash? Well, that's why you got to offer that house wash up front. Um, what did you spend in marketing to hit your per truck um, goal again? I was pushing a thousand dollars a month per truck. That's kind of my goal. A thousand dollars is going to get me roughly six to ten thousand dollars, depending on you know how lucky I am or how whatever. Um, so that's where I was at that um, six or a thousand dollars a day, or a thousand dollars a month per truck. Um, Thanks, Jason, for setting up my AdWords. Can't wait to put them into use in the spring. And so I have some people, some people out here that's watching, I'm sure. We got 88 people. I'm sure I got somebody out here that I set up your AdWords and I've sent you an email. And you haven't responded and did what you're supposed to do on your side. So I've got about eight or nine of you people. And some of you have given me your AdWord account, but then you didn't do part B. And so... If you haven't done part A or part B, go read your email. I'll probably be sending out an email again here shortly. Hi, Jason. I'm fairly new. This might be a dumb couple of questions. There's no such thing as dumb questions. But what is the five around and how do you create packages? Also, do you sell package sheets? So a five around is when you get a door hanger and you clean this house. You go to the neighbor house here and you put a door hanger there. You walk across the street and you will put door hangers on all three of those. You come back, put a door hanger on this side of it, and then you're back to your truck. And so that is what a five around is. Um, and then how do you, how do you, um, also do you sell package sheets? I don't have any package sheets right now because I mostly push um, response to bid. Um, actually, you know what? I might have one in the membership. I can't remember if I put it in. The, I did have one. And I don't know if I put it in the membership or not. I'm getting ready to put a whole lot more stuff in the membership. That's going to be pretty cool um, stuff like templates for Canva so that you can make different things. Um, from Oregon. Dave Chappelle tickets. Uh, just finished Magic of Thinking Big and Profit for both great books. I love I love Magic of Thinking Big. I think it's a great, that's another great book to start out with. Um, and what was cool about that book, it was written in the 1950s, and it is still relevant, very relevant to today. Other than when he talks about pricing on things, and you're like, he talks about like $3 an hour or something, and it's like, I think that's a little off there, but other than that, it's pretty neat. I've been watching you on Facebook for a pretty long time. I'm about to join the group on your website. Where can you, for questions about joining on them on the on this slide? What? Um, where can I ask you a few questions before joining them on this slide? Um, you can message me on Facebook. Usually is the best way to do it. Um. Has the texting software helped grow your audience? Actually, it has because we had 90-some people on here tonight. And um, I'm up to 75 people that have signed up so far. So if you want to sign up or someone else, text KING to 859-696-1101. And you will be notified when I go live on YouTube. 
thanks for doing this every week. It helped out a lot. Same with your podcasts. Um, 88 is pretty cool. Got it back up. Yes, it is. I appreciate you all. You guys are pretty cool. You guys are awesome. Did you know you're awesome? You are awesome. Every one of you are awesome. Um, you can do awesome things. And, you know, I know a lot of times you don't hear it and a lot of times you don't believe it, but you are awesome. You know, and if you don't tell yourself that and if you don't believe it, it's hard to do hard, awesome things. But you can do awesome things. And that's what I love about this business. You know, I was telling my wife today that, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. So <laughs> I got to be careful how I say this, but I'm working with a marketing company. I'm not working with it. One of my clients are working with a marketing company and we were on the phone and they're like, man, that's a cool tool. How do you, I need that tool? And, and I'm like telling them all different kinds of things. Right. And you're a marketing company and they're a big marketing company. This ain't a small marketing company. And you know, I'm, I was just the pressure washer, right? I was just a pressure washing business. But you learn so much more than just a pressure washing business, right? You are, it's again, because I don't teach you to be a pressure washer. I don't want you to be a pressure washer. I want you to be a pressure washing business, right? Because when you are a pressure washing business, you learn all kinds of things. You know, I know Nathan, Nathan on here, right? He is 22, 23 years old. I don't know how old he is. We'll find out how old he is on Sunday. But he has learned so much, right? He's learned all kinds of stuff because he did Grant Cardone sales and he learns all kinds of stuff about sales. Um, and now he's learning all kinds of things about SEO. And why do you think he's learning all kinds of things about SEO? Because he got screwed out of about five grand. It's not ranking, right? And so this is why it is important that you are not just a pressure washing business. And so if you want to be a pressure washer, that's fine. But a pressure washer is a $15, $20 an hour job. But a pressure washer business owner, you learn all kinds of things. And don't, and I, and actually, I know it's hard sometimes. And I know a lot of my crowd here is old, but don't let that hold you back. Just because you're old, don't let the mentality of that's hard. That's on that computer stuff. And that computer stuff's hard. You know what? You can do hard things. That's what's awesome about it. You can do hard things. Did you know you can do hard things? Even I know you can do hard things. I see you old people sitting there playing on your phone like a little kid sometimes, right? You're watching videos or you're playing a game. Well, if you're doing that, you can figure out other things. It's not rocket science. It's lit and it's getting easier and easier as we go. You know, when I first started to do a website, <laughs> you had uh, no dream, dream. I can't even think what it's called now. DreamWorks or no <clears throat> dream builder, something. You actually had to know code. Now it's a plug and play and you pop it over there. And there it is. Bam. Before you had to write this CSS code and all this crap. And it was hard. And you didn't have chat GPT to write all the words for you and give you ideas. You know, they, it's getting easier and easier as we go, you know? And so it, this to sit there and say, well, yeah, I, that's, that's for that young people. Well, you know what I always say, there's two ways to get business. One, you either open your wallet and shut up and you pay it out the yin yang or you figure it out. And if you got a lot of time, that's what you got to do is figure it out. You know, and if you're old, and what I mean by old, I got old people on here. I got old people on here. I got I got Brian Fletcher on here. I, I haven't seen him here tonight, but I guarantee you he'll watch this. And he's old. He's like 65, 67 years old. And you know what? He's doing Facebook Lives because he was in my mentorship or in my in my membership, and he and I challenged him to do Facebook Lives. And guess what? He's doing Facebook Lives at 65, 67 years old, right? You can do them too. Don't be afraid. You know, I, I, and I understand there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of hard things. You know, I understand it's hard to see yourself on that Facebook. Can you believe I'm on that Facebook? You know, I, I went to church tonight because my daughter loves going to 
um, to high school ministry. And there's an old lady sitting across the row with my picture on her phone. And she's like, look, we got a celebrity in here. Right? But you can't let that hold you back. You know what holds people back? By you not doing it. And if you think that people are going to make fun of you and, and that, they are. They will. I got made fun of all the time at the firehouse. I got made fun of all the time at the firehouse. But you know what? When I told them to go stick it up there, you know what? And I quit. They were like, huh, Jason really did quit. You know, and I was talking, I tried to get out of there for two years and they kept making fun of me and, and I would go live and they make fun of me and I'd go live anyway. And I didn't give a rat's tail, but you know what? I did suck back then when I first started. So if you think you're going to be perfect, you're not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. There is nothing in this business that's going to ever be perfect. Why? Because it is ever changing. You know, what you learn today is going to change in, in, by this time next year. And that's what, you know, and it's, you got to keep learning. You know, the biggest thing I've learned in this business is you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep learning, keep investing in yourself. The number one thing you can do in this business is invest in you rather. And I'm, I don't care if you join my membership and I don't, and I don't even want you to join other th things about pressure washing. I want you to invest in you in books on, you know, how to have a better mindset how to how to lead people right because this is not a business about how to pressure wash this way because this way is better than that way that's not what grows this right that's not what gets us to the next level what gets us to the next level is you being a better person you being a better leader so that you can lead people to to lead other people and when you learn how to lead people and not worrying about, well, I don't want to teach them too much because then they're going to go on their own. Good. But what you should make them do is where they could go on their own, but they want to stay with you, right? Because they want to follow a good leader. And that is the most important thing you can do. That is what will set you apart in this business. And so when we sit there and worry about all the little things and all this, you know, all the stupid things. And, you know, I was on a post today and one person is, you know, kind of redoing one thing and, and they're all telling him, oh, you're just copying everything. And you know what? We This business didn't get better by one person figuring one thing out and nobody else doing it. You know, for instance, the um, the thirteen hundred dollar um, proportioner, right? I've been hearing there's a patent on this since, since I started this, and since like two thousand and fourteen, right? But you know how many valves I've seen that come out for the proportioner valve, and they've done better or did bigger or whatnot. Well, if we would have just stayed with this one valve, that would have never came involved, right? And so this is why it is important that we. Don't get there and, you know, and that's why I tell you, stay out of the Facebook groups. I hate the Facebook groups. I like going in them just to see and laugh at people because they want to, they learn something today. And now they're going to tell 10 people tomorrow how to do it. And they don't, they've never done anything themselves, you know, or you see people that give bad information just to give bad information to try to screw people. You know, that's, you know, I have a pressure washing group. I have a Christmas light group. I kick those people out. I don't like that. I don't want that. I want growth. I want people to be positive to each other. You know, when you, when you start growing your business, this is the worst thing you can say is there ain't no, there ain't nobody wants to work. Well, you're right. Nobody wants to work. You're right. Nobody wants to work, but you need to say, where can I find the people that are awesome? right? Where's them awesome people that are going to be my rock stars? That's the people I want. Not, there ain't nobody wants to work, you know? And you know what? You might have to go through 50 people to get that rock star, but you know what? You get that rock star and you will grow your business like no other. And as long as you're a good leader. Now, if you are a sucky leader, then you're going to have sucky employees and you're going to have a sucky business. And you're not going to probably have employees because you suck. And so when you suck, that's part on you. So this is something that I want to push on you is invest in yourself. The number one thing, the number one piece of equipment is you. And you are the number one piece of equipment. What are you doing to invest in you? Are you reading? Are you going to classes? Are you learning how to do 
um, different things, right? And, you know, I always say you got to open your wallet to learn. Is there is there a lot on this YouTube? Sure there is. Tons of it. But you won't learn it. You won't take action on it unless you open your wallet nine times out of ten. There's very few people that don't open their wallet and get be successful. You know, and that's that's cool. But I'm just saying it helps you when you invest in yourself. I know Manny's been on here on here tonight. He went to um, response to bid last year and it helped blow up his business and he's going back this year. Is it cheap to go to response account? No, your time you figure, you know, 15 to $2,000 for the, the, uh, the, um, the ticket, which includes your room and some meals and you figure in your flight and your Uber and all of that stuff, you're looking at three thirty three thousand thirty five hundred dollars to do that. But you're investing in yourself, and if you don't ten x it, I would be highly shocked, right? If you're just starting out, if you don't ten x your, and I got some crisp pressure washing classes coming up, right? And it's an in person training, and so this is training is not, um, this is not how to do something. This is this is actually in person training that I do, and if you want to go check out the dates, you can, right? Invest in yourself, and I don't care if you come or not. But what I will say is is this is something that will help you down the road, you know, and this is something that I see so many people struggle because they don't want to invest in themselves. And like I say, if you, if you already started, start investing in yourself to learn how to do marketing. You know, there's some great, great stuff coming up. Social media marketing world. It's in San Diego, California. It's amazing. Traffic and conversion. Another amazing conference that I would highly recommend both. I have been to Traffic and Conversion, and I was just like mind blown. I got to go up and shake Billy Jean's hand, right? If you don't know who Billy Jean is, then you need to learn more about marketing because he talks all about marketing, right? Marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, you know, if you know, find that, find somehow to invest in yourself to grow your business. And the more you invest in yourself, if your business fails, you still have that investment and you will be able to find a job or do something else with what you learned just as just a little old pressure washer, right? People don't realize how much money you can make in pressure washing. It's crazy. The more I think about it, the more I see it just having spraying water and you can make a million dollars is nuts, right? It's crazy. Nuts crazy. So make sure you are investing in yourself and doing the things you need to do so you can grow your business. All right. Sorry I got on that tangent, but I just, um, it drives me nuts sometimes. Thank you, brother. I love watching your videos. Um, you keep it real, unlike the so-called. Well, you know, I don't even like going there, but. People are cheapskates in my area. You're right. I love. I lost tons of work because they don't want to pay what I want to charge, and I'm not underselling myself for anyone. You're right. If you say they're cheapskates, that's not pot thinking positive. And here's the thing, right? If you think cheapskates, well, you, I just said that thirty. Most of the people I know that's done a lot are at thirty percent. So that means seventy percent. So seven out of ten are not going to buy from you. Super hype for 2023. I'm afraid that I'm going to make more money than my dad this year and will take over my business. Um, I've learned so much running my pressure washing business. Now I started another business and it was working a job. I hated two years ago. And then I found Jason. Um, I actually know a few people who never thought you could kill a business. Then you showed up. Then you showed them. <laughs> uh, starting full time Monday. Hey, Jason, what's the best chem for rubberized field playground? The manufacturer says no bleach and not to exceed 1500 PSI. You might be able to use like um, peroxide or whatever, like OxyClean or whatever it is. Um, preach it what is the name of your pressure washing group 
Well, it is Pressure Wash Help, but you have to be a member of King of Pressure Wash. If you're not a member of King of Pressure Wash, you're not getting in. Um, where's them awesome people at? I love it, man. Oh, yeah. Update on class at CJ's Days. DJ's money. Um, when are you coming to Seattle? I don't know. I was out there last year. Um, you're going back to the huge. I don't know. Probably. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. That is a hundred percent. Um, how do you protect gutter roofs or copper roofs? Stay the hell away from them. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, stay away from them. Um, and I'm not just saying that to be mean, otherwise water, I mean, you got to water them the whole time, um, because you will spot them up and that is not good. That is bad. Um, how much do you charge to make a website? So if you are a member of the pressure, King of pressure wash, um, your template website is free. Um, I'm working on the other one. Um, that one would probably be, it'll be 200 or 250. Because I'm putting a lot of time into it and making it SEO'd and everything along those lines. What's the price for cleaning, sanding, sealing, patios, paver, paver stones? Um, $1.70 to $2 a square foot. You are awesome, Big PJ. Thank you. Can, can you call me to discuss premium packages? Maybe. I need to... I need real help with marketing in Google. I, some folks that get like 20 calls a week from Google. Yep. Chris Johnson, how many days? Um, Chris Johnson's class, if you come to Chris Johnson class, if you go to KP, that's uh, March 3rd and 4th, I think it is. Um, it'll be a two day. It's a Friday, Saturday. So he can go to church on Sunday. Um, that's what it is. Um, it's a Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday class in Myrtle beach. So that's where we'll, that class will be. Hey, Jason, we will be in Cincinnati this week. We would love to talk to you. Uh, let me know. It depends on where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I got going on. My birthday's tomorrow, Friday. I turn a big whopping 21 again on Friday. Um, 21 times two plus one. Um, but yeah, nobody worries about that. Um, how would you try to partner with a company that wants you to promote their business? Well, you get their email and they promote your business. Um, so, all right, guys. Well, I hope you all have a great night and a great weekend. And, um, again, I'll be back on Sunday night with Mr. Nathan Brinker. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Um, I know he looks like a 12 year old kid, but he pretty much looks like that. Even in real life, he's a little bit older than that. Um, but he has grown a business and he's doing very well. He did over six figures this year. Um, and so this is, you know, I talk to him quite often and, um, he's taken two of my in-person classes. He drove all the way to Alabama to be when I did the class with Cody down there before Cody joined up with some other yahoos. Um, but you know, we did a class down there and then he's also come to the Christmas light class and he has blown it up and it is awesome, 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 um, to see him grow and be successful and grow as a young man. Um, and where he's going to be at in a few years is going to be amazing. So hope you all have a great night. And, um, if you cannot address here, I can speak via emails here. Um, I hope you all have, um, what is the Chris Johnson class? Um, so Chris Johnson class is a pressure washing class. Um, it's my normal pressure washing class, but, um, the Friday is the hands on and then Saturday is all marketing and sales. And so I'll be doing most of, I'll do all of my class. And then Chris Johnson's probably going to talk for about two or three hours on sales and awesome. And he does an awesome, awesome job. Um, he did over 550 this year, and so that is um, where um, we'll be at. So hope you all have a great night, and we're going to see you all later.